At five, St. Louis regulations on Airbnbs and the like begin this week. Yeah, the crackdown hopes to make neighborhoods safer while continuing to bring in new tourists. First Lord Four's Alexis Otos is live in South St. Louis, breaking down the changes on the way. Corey, Sam, this home behind me is one of an estimated 2,000 short-term rentals in the city of St. Louis. This one's located right across from Tower Grove Park, and its owner actually worked with the city to help craft these regulations that go into effect next week. Uh, most of my guests are in for weddings. They're in for family vacations. Amanda McCracken began hosting guests on Airbnb back in 2017. Well, I have seven short-term rentals right now. Uh, a couple of them are duplexes. Starting next week, she will have to apply for a permit for each of her short-term rental properties. Just one of the pieces of rules and regulations being implemented by the city of St. Louis. Up until now, it was a completely unregulated market. Thanks to Mayor Jones and the work with the Board of Aldermen. Now this is going to be a regulated market. We're going to know where these short-term rentals are, and we're going to be able to hold those owners accountable who are maybe causing disturbances in their neighborhoods. In addition to a permit, short-term rentals will need to undergo yearly inspection. There will be an occupancy limit on units and a limit on how many properties someone can own. One of the biggest changes will be the two-night minimum, which some owners say will have a big impact on business. I have a lot of people that come traveling through town on the way to somewhere else, and they would like to stay in a place that feels like home, where they can cook a meal, or if they have young children, it's a lot more convenient than a hotel. But after multiple shootings, parties, and problems at properties in the city, most short-term rental owners say they welcome the new changes. Well, I'm excited that there's finally some sort of a regulation behind it. Uh, obviously, a lot of bad actors out there when it comes to short-term rentals, and it was definitely affecting some of our communities. We all agree there have to be some regulations because it was getting out of hand, and we were getting lumped into these stories where people are fighting in the street, and, you know, that wasn't us. It never has been us. Uh, we are family-oriented. That application process opens up on November 6th. It'll cost $150 for each application for each property, but owners will have until May 6th to get those applications in. That is when the city says they will begin officially enforcing all of the rules and regulations. Reporting live in the city, Alexis Zotos, Personal 4. Alexis, thank you.